We've got some video from Elgin of, I believe, a tornado here. We know that, yep, you can, well, sure looks like it, doesn't it, Kaylin? Some pretty good rotation. Looks like a fairly, what I'm seeing is correct, looks like a fairly wide mm -hmm. circulation with mm -hmm. this storm. These are impressive. These aren't just, you know, any tornado is impressive, but these are really impressive. These are pretty wide. And again, can't estimate until we know the damage from these storms, but we're talking about something stronger than an EF-0 for sure, maybe stronger than an EF-1. We'll have to wait and see. I know the Weather Service will send out their survey crews. Most likely, maybe some people will go out later today, but definitely tomorrow we should get some information back probably sometime tomorrow morning or around lunchtime. The way they work, they go out and do a thorough assessment to see which way is the debris kind of strewn out. Is it in a circular pattern? Is it all blown in one direction, which would indicate more straight line winds? But definitely that combined with the video and the eyewitness reports should make things fairly easy for them to confirm these tornadoes and just where they end up on that enhanced Fujita scale, the EF scale. Uh, Dr. Fujita was a scientist at the University of Chicago that came up with that scale. And he, he did it in large part, he based it on the damage that these storms, these winds produce. And he went to places where the atomic bomb uh, exploded to get an idea of just how much damage 300 mile per hour winds can do because where else are you going to see that? And it helped him to come up with his EF scale. So we'll find out more about that tomorrow. But